hello everyone creative Venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial so today we will learn how to design this beautiful animation so this is a very beautiful presentation animation and i hope you will like it so please subscribe to our channel join the membership hit the like button share this video so let's learn how to design this beautiful slide without wasting any time so the very first step is to insert this rectangular bar adjust its height and width as you can see on your screen now remove its outline we don't need it and now what we will do is we will rotate it by some degrees so it's totally up to you how you want to rotate it make sure it is less than 45 degrees so it will look better Now insert this rectangle shape again and what we will do is we will intersect both these shapes. Now select both these shapes, press intersect and you will get a shape like this. So now duplicate it and create 5 to 6 copies to it and And keep on placing one after another and once all are stacked together make sure these are vertically aligned well vertical align function will not work here because these are uh, slightly rotated at an angle so you have to do it manually by pressing the up and down button on a keyboard now select all these together and press ctrl plus G to group them now we will fill an image in this group so I've already downloaded a couple of images from pexels.com so now as we have inserted this image duplicate the group and insert the second image so here you need two images and here you go so now you can place it like this and send to back or you can keep that on the front as well it depends upon the design theme you are using so now you can see it is looking really beautiful really nice and it will definitely engage the users who are watching the slide now we will create a shadow effect for that you need to insert a circle in order to create the shadow effect you need to fill the path gradient and in the path gradient you can keep it like you need two gradient nodes here and one you have to keep at 100% transparency and you will get a nice shadow effect as you can see on your screen So it is very easy to create and look at the output here you can increase its size and adjust as per your requirement now select all these components and slightly move them towards the top so that it is perfectly placed on the slide now the design part is complete we have to add some text here so i hope you will like this design and you can subscribe to our channel if you haven't and you can also join the membership joining the membership will help us to create more such beautiful videos 
and we always try to provide every single slide free and you can download the template from the G drive link provided in the video description. So here you can write text. Text can be anything based upon the requirement or the kind of presentation you are making and text styling is also very important just do not throw any kind of text here make sure it's short use bullet points use snippets use small descriptions also try to use icons and highlight important words use different font sizes and styles try to use fonts other than Arial's and Calibri's so that's how you can create a beautiful presentation corporate slide so here we have created a small description and it's a dummy text you can change it text styling is also an art and you need to understand before designing the slide because you 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 should know that what are the important words in your text what are the important points and then only you would be able to highlight those important keywords or text so here you can write some percentage or some number or you can highlight some fact so today's message is be positive and stay safe So make sure everything is well aligned use the align option to align the text so this presentation slide is very easy to create as you can see we have used some rectangle shapes we intersected them and created a new shape and we grouped them together and now we have written some text so that's how you can also create this design and let's add some call to action button so what will happen when you will click on this button you can hyperlink it to any slide for example you want to connect it with the fourth slide or the fifth slide you can hyperlink it to that slide if you want to navigate to that slide so here you can write learn more read more or know more So let's add some animation here and that's the beauty of this slide so you need to select both these components and select custom animation the down animation by default the down animation is uh, by default the down animation make the shapes travel too much distance we need to reduce that by manually sliding these dots and reduce the path and after that you need you need to make sure that both these animations are selected to start with previous So here you have selected to start it with previous. Increase the duration like 
8 to 10 seconds we want to keep it very smooth so you can change it as per your own imagination and creativity and run it in loops so you need to select it to auto reverse and keep on animating until the end of the slide so so now we need some text here we have make it bold and also what we will do is we will animate it so I've slightly rotated it to match it to match it with the background shapes and now let's change the font as well because it is our marquee text and we want to highlight it so this kind of font will look good Now go to the animation and we will apply the up animation from the motion paths. Select motion path and select up. And now you can see it's working perfectly but we need to reduce its path. Also, we need to start with previous, increase its duration, and we have to run it in loop. And now you can see it is animating as we want it to be. So, so the design is almost complete. Let's see what else we can do here. Yes, we need to adjust the animation. Like I said earlier, we need to start it start with previous and then increase the duration. Slightly increase the delay and then increase the duration to like 8 to 10 seconds. Again, it depends upon your preference. You need to experiment to see if you get the desired outcome make sure auto reverse is selected and keep on repeating until the end of the slide so it will run in loop and now you can see the final result so i hope you like this design so please subscribe to our channel join the membership keep supporting us hit the like button share this video and be positive and stay safe that's the message we want to share so we we will see you guys in our next video till then bye bye peace